everyone welcome uday who is a scholar at sap labs so today he'll guide us completely about what is this program who all are eligible for it and what are all the benefits of this program so uday let's start this video with your introduction hi fasna first of all thank you for inviting me to share my experience and a very good afternoon to all of your viewers my name is uday vikram singh and i am a vt star scholar at scp lab bangalore so uh first we i think i should tell about what is a scholar program uh it is a pro, it is one of the most sparkling programs which is initiated by sap lab and it's running successfully for more than a decade so in the scholar program in the scholars work 5 days a week along with the teams and on saturdays they take bits classes for the mtech program the faculty of the bits come to the sap campus themselves and we take the classes from 9 to 6 so the main crux of the scholar program is that the college graduates will uh, get both the opportunity opportunity to work in a tech environment as well as to uh, pursue their further masters so this is the main crux of a uh, scholar program okay uday so first of all congratulations for getting into it so starting the video let come to who all are eligible for it so coming to the eligibility there i think the sap labs goes to the campus itself i don't think that they we can apply uh off campus it's uh, mostly for on campus so the company go to the campus and the criteria is that 7 plus cgpa in your uh, uh, bachelor at the time for at the time or at the stem for in which the company is coming and you should know uh, you should not have a backlog and i think that for 10th and 12th also there is a 70% criteria so 10th 12th and graduation 70% so you are good to go you can give uh, you can give the coding rounds okay so next coming to what all various steps are involved to be a sap scholar like just you mentioned uh, there were coding rounds so what were those coding rounds was there any part uh, like any interview for you so for our batch i think uh, uh, we had a pre uh, session uh, on 12th of july i guess we had a pre session where uh, uh, the co- company told everything about the program about the interview processes and there were four rounds first round was a coding round and it was conducted on hacker rank and we had to solve two problems under 40 minutes and uh, after that uh, that uh, we got the list on the second day of the selected students and those students uh, they had to go under two technical rounds tr1 and tr2 and those who clear the tr2 have to go under the uh, you, we can say managerial round not purely hr not pure, entirely technical managerial round and after the managerial round if you are good then you get the offer and uh, you have to share uh, the coding questions anything specific about it no 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 like uh, okay. just what was that level of the coding questions lead code medium or hard one was easy one was medium okay and it depends uh, easy and medium i there was not not i won't call it a medium easy and kind of medium below medium it was not hard okay so you went through two technical interviews and then one hr yes okay so in technical interviews uh, they ask like dsa and managerial questions like about you your resume your goals everything like this okay yes uh, in that tr1 uh, first i was asked to introduce myself and then the second question was uh, i have to explain one of the project which i mentioned in my resume my resume had ml projects so i explained it after the explanation uh, uh they asked me about my vision mission and one question was which ai i used and for what purpose and seven layers of uh, computer network that osi layer seven layers of osi and uh, uh, they asked about me memory management so in case uh, just for the clearing in case if uh 
restaurant is does not know the exact definition of memory management or uh, some questions like this you can give examples uh, that how memory management is used so all this question it was it went for around 30 minutes 30 to 35 minutes Okay, there. So next, coming to what are the benefits of this program? Like any full-time opportunity SAP gives. Yes. So the criteria is that uh, in the scholar program, a scholar go under three rotations of seven seven months. In each rotation, every scholar works under different team. So after two rotations, if the review from the manager, uh, team manager, vocational manager. Uh, the review is good you have performed good and if you have a, a cgp of 7 plus in m6 then the company offers us a associate uh, role a full time after completing two rotations okay so in the last part i would like to ask you your coding journey like uh, before giving the coding round what was your preparation from where you prepared and what are the tips from your side from being a senior to your college juniors what they can do i was practicing dsa for the last one year but uh, when the company uh, came so on gfg uh, the dsa questions are company wise so anyone can go and select sap lab i guess there was 40 questions so i practiced all the 40 questions and it made sure that i covered all the topics and gave me a good confidence and even one question I got from there, so it was a good chance. So there are 40 questions. So anyone who is going to sit in a SAP RAP interview for a scholar, they can go and prepare all these questions from the GFG. There were puzzles too, which you can uh, go and uh, see from the YouTube, the YouTube uh, playlist for puzzles is good, any playlist. Yeah, like GFG puzzles are there, 100 of like, yes. and G on GFG yes. practice there are questions which company wise like you said 40 questions yes okay so this is from my side over there like anything extra you want to share just for the round uh, there were four rounds so first round was coding round and for the technical interview i would say that uh, prepare a good intro because uh, the interview basically starts with an intro and the uh, intro is not good then it would give a bad uh, uh, remark so if intro is good and prepare your projects diligently means uh, if you are made by yourself then know everything about it and uh, learn basic of everything fundamentals should be clear like uh, uh, basic sql you should know you should know the seven layers of osi memory management uh, and <coughs> basic operating system even you should know that in both the technical rounds i was given the DSA question to solve. In TR1, I was given uh, one string question. In TR2, I was given one question which I had to write on paper and show on the camera and then explain the process uh, by give and then explain the process to the interview. The puzzle was there and even to my friends, OOPS concept they have asked to my friends. So OOPS is also very important. So all these things you have to keep in mind. And for manager round, you just have to be honest. 